Well, good morning, kids, and happy Wednesday, November 15th, and greetings from the Menards store location in Springfield, Illinois, one of two. This one is the one on Chuck Wagon Drive. I always loved that name. <laughs> so we rolled in here very late last night and uh, made it with uh, 20 minutes left on my clock and promptly shut down right here on the curb and uh, ready to deliver all of the goodies that are in the trailer uh, to this store this morning. So it is now uh, quarter to 10 and my uh, late start week <laughs> continues every day since I had such a late start on Monday. Now you see what I mean by it kind of rolls into the entire week where you can't start early. So um, yeah, that's the way it goes. That's trucking. Welcome to, welcome to trucking. Uh, not a big deal. We live through it, right? So uh, we are about to drop this load. Uh, as you can see, the uh, docks are oh, a few hundred yards away. And yesterday, I somehow miraculously managed to make it from Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, beautiful rest area in Black River Falls. And we left there and went straight like a rocket ship down to Sullivan, Missouri. Uh, which is right the DC in Sullivan, Missouri. The Menards Distribution Center is uh, Right down the street from the Jesse James Wax Museum Yeah, and the Merrimack Caves uh, two of the oldest Tourist attractions on good old Route 66 a little piece of Americana some American history there so Always weird to drive by that Jesse James Wax Museum and there's a couple of other older you know buildings that you could tell were quite the thing in their day back in you know back way back when uh in the 50s or something and now they're just run down dilapidated falling apart and kind of weird uh but anyway so uh, we went did that drop and hook and uh, we made it up here so a total of drum roll please 692 miles yes you heard that right 692 miles this boy rolled last yesterday so uh, I'd say that's a pretty full day. <laughs> There's an understatement. So let us pop these brakes and the dee 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 you hear, uh, I was asked what that is. That is the seatbelt warning. That is the truck saying, hey, put your seatbelt on. Uh, and just uh, for the record, I wear a seatbelt religiously when this truck is rolling. Uh, I never take it off. I never take it off while I'm driving. Um, that's good old Schneider training there. Uh, still, still with me. However, the one area where I disagree with Schneider, where I think they went a little over the top, is that they would always give you, a, you know, you'd always have a training engineer nearby somewhere, you know, in a yard or something when you drive, and they'd come up and go, hey, you should be wearing your seatbelt. Well, and what I'm talking about are situations when you're backing a trailer in or picking a trailer up or what or whatnot. So, in other words, the truck is barely rolling, you know. I mean, you're maneuvering backwards or you're pulling up forward in a crawl. It's like, at that point, if something happens, a seatbelt is doing exactly zero for you. <laughs> so, I mean, a seatbelt is, is, is supposed to restrain you in the event of a collision, right? Well, you know, how much, how much is your body going to fly around when the truck is rolling one mile per hour? Uh, it's absolutely silly, but that was just kind of the way Schneider is, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing necessarily because, you know, what, they err on the side of safety, I guess. Uh, but I think a lot of it is what I call safety theater. Um, you know, it's just unnecessary. Uh, and when I'm maneuvering a truck in a yard in very slow speed, uh, and especially when I'm backing up, I'm sorry, the seatbelt comes off because I don't like being strangled by it. Uh, because that's what happens when you're backing up. You're, you're constantly moving around, your torso's moving, you're looking out the window, you're doing all this stuff, and you've got the seatbelt choking you. It's ridiculous. So anyway, that is what that little warning is so let us get rolling uh, and we will go visit these fine folks and get this trailer offloaded well I almost forgot to start the cameras what kind of a YouTube internet sensation am I <laughs> forgetting to turn the damn cameras on anyway 
we just talked to our friendly folks at the gate. Always nice people at Menards. And uh, we are lining up for, can you guess the door number? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? It's door seven, of course. Yes, because all these doors are basically the same. And uh, the middle door is always seven. And that's always where they want you. And let's see if we can figure out how to get this big old thing onto that big old building. Yes, sir, I think we're going in the right direction. I'm gonna have to open my doors here in a second. Are we getting close? Oh, too soon, too soon. Getting ahead of myself. I'm blaming it on the coffee. Okay, we will stop here while we're all wonky and crooked and I'm gonna go open the doors. Open. We shall proceed. It would help if I released the trailer brakes. That might help. Jesus. Anyhow. Yeah, this dot's got a nasty slant to it. I can see it already. But that's okay. It's nothing we're not used to. Oh yeah, it's slanted big time. Let's straighten this thing out. Okay, I think I can work with that. Thing just wants to drift. We are all finished being offloaded at our neighborhood Menard store here in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, we just got our next load confirmed. And we are on our way over to Decatur, Illinois, which is, oh, I don't know, about 40 miles, 50 miles, something like that away to the east. And uh, we're going to a warehousing place that does some sort of food dry goods or something and uh, we're picking up some sort of a food load of some sort and we are going I'm going to move here for the flatbed because those split axles don't turn very well and yeah so then we are going to take that whatever it is uh, and we are going to bring that out to Omaha. 
Boy, the way they plant these trees sometimes, they really do make it hard for truck drivers to see. Uh, that and signs, I've noticed that. A lot of times these signs, uh, traffic signs, they, they tend to put them right in the line of sight of truck drivers because we sit so much higher. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're gonna grab this Decatur to Omaha. That's 500 something miles. Uh, so that's a nice little run. Uh, I don't mind going out in that direction. That's kind of a straight shot on I-80, essentially. Uh, at some point, we're going to make our way up to I-80. Um, but yeah, so that's the next item on the Price is Right. And we are heading there now. Okay, we are approaching our customer, our shipper. And let's see here. We want, what is it, 3585? That's it. Park you Warehouses. Arrive at 3580. And let's see, which, which way do we go? Let's go this way. Shipping and receiving. Hey, look at that. All right. Well, there's a whole lot of trucks here. Okay, some of them are just trailers, but still... I hope this doesn't mean we're going to be sitting here for five months waiting to get loaded. We shall see shortly. Make sure I don't take this guy's trailer out. And Swift is trying to park. Like it's going to be a tight squeeze in this place, but we're okay with that. We're good with tight squeezes. Oh yeah, Swifty's got it. He's got it. He's a pro. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I know. I teed up Swift jokes, but. There are some damn good Swift drivers out there. Any Swift drivers watching or listening, shout out to you guys. You guys get a whole heap and hell of a lot of abuse. Uh, and, you know, some of it is deserved, just like any starter company. Uh, however, it's not just a starter company. There are some damn good experienced drivers working there. So, just like all the other majors. So, we throw them a lot of shit, but at least in, in, my, in my case, I don't mean it other than just to poke a little fun that's all anyway let's stop babbling and let's go uh see when we're gonna get loaded well this should be fun <laughs> i'm picking up forty-three thousand pounds of cornstarch Forty-three thousand pounds that is a heavy heavy load so we are going to be doing the turtle crawl up any hill <laughs> that comes in front of us. Oh boy. All right, that's okay. They can't all be light, easy loads. So no big deal. We can handle it. So we need to be on dock 22. That's dock 22. Nice. Let me open the doors and we'll get ourselves on the door. Yeah, I can follow simple instructions. <laughs> the lady just told me, don't open your doors, we do it inside. And what am I doing? I'm going out to open the doors. Of course I am. Uh, okay, let's not do that. But let's get on this door.
going to still have to slide my tandems. But different people do that in different ways. I always like to get myself kind of straight and lined up with the door and then do it. Other people like to do it before they even back up because it makes doing a 90 easier. Um, six one half dozen the other to me, I don't care. Uh, so I just usually wait until I'm lined up with the door. Got a slant too. Let's go ahead and slide these tandems. that at some point or another they would make tandem releases that you could do on the inside of the cab but of course that would mean that truck drivers got absolutely no exercise whatsoever and they'd never leave the truck <laughs> so I suppose it's fine not a big deal let's see if we can lock them in there we go now, get ourselves straight once and for all. And of course, when the tandems are all the way back like that, for those who don't drive, that means that the trailer reacts a lot slower to your steering inputs. Um, so you gotta give yourself a little bit of room so that you can guide it gently not be too abrupt with it because it takes a long time for it to respond. The farther the wheels are from the kingpin, the slower the response of steering inputs to those back tandems. And let's see here. It looks like I'm pretty well dead center just where I like to be. Pride myself on that. I don't care if I take a few seconds or a minute or two longer than maybe some other drivers, but that's okay. I'm not all about quick, quick, quick. I'm about do it right. So anyway, we're landed. Let's see how long they take. Well, that's a gorgeous looking sunset, right? Hopefully you can see that. And, uh, but the sun is not setting on our day, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I'm going to be driving into the wee hours again and in darkness, 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 yeehaw. So uh, we got held hostage at that uh, shipper as I suspected might be the case because anytime you deal with any shipper that is relating to food, whether it be a producer, distributor, warehouser, whatever, uh, if it's food, you're going to wait. And you're going to wait forever. It is the most inefficient uh, aspect or segment in the trucking business as far as I've seen. Uh, maybe there are worse out there. Could be. I just don't know about them. But I just, if I, if I could, if I had a choice in the matter, I would never touch any food products ever again as far as trucking is concerned. No thank you. I'd rather, if I'm going to sit around and wait, I'd rather do it, you know, without having to wait for a, a green light. Because <laughs> I'm not making money anyway, so what's, what's the difference? Um, anyhow, enough of my bitching. Um, that's just the way it rolls, and uh, that's fine. You know, it's all part of the business. Some loads are great, some loads suck. So, we are on I-72 heading west and going out towards Omaha, Nebraska. We're gonna be taking 72 all the way through Missouri, I mean Missouri, uh, towards uh, Kansas City-ish area-ish. And uh, we will pick up Interstate 29 
and run north on 29 until we run into Omaha. So uh, I'm going to get as far as I can tonight in the darkness. And then uh, this delivers tomorrow morning between 10 and 11 a.m. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how far I can get. So I really just wanted to capture that sunset. It's really freaking cool. Hopefully it turns out. So more tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. It's a special little something for somebody I know, and that somebody will know exactly that this is intended for them.